Uh, this is actually owned by a guy called Lok Kui Fo, and he is a, um, a landowner uh, that owns a big estate. This house was originally part of his estate, or still is part of his estate, and our friend's previous occupants of this house took it on, renovated it, turned it into something very nice. Uh, they've since left the country and we don't know when they're going to come back so we're helping to look after the property for them and we're putting it up for rent on Airbnb and bits and pieces like that so we'd love to see you but let me show you around the house come and have a look so the house itself is about 60 70 years old an old plant manager of a plantation in the house it's got great open space living uh, here is good for a kickabout and a game of volleyball the gardens are lovely, lots of different species of birds, lots of animals, it's very lovely. In here, this is the house itself. And you've come straight into the kitchen. Uh, got a big fridge, crockery all you need, washing machine, dryer. That's the back door that leads out into the, into the dragon uh, fruit grove. Uh, sink. The only downfall of the house really is that it's only got uh, one shower and one toilet, which are just here. Now that's the design of the house, that's the nature, because it's an old house, it's, it, so there's no point in just disrupting it to put an extra toilet or thing in. Sleep six people here. But this is your kitchen here, it's got a hobs, very fridge. And then up here is the, the living room sort of area. Here we've got a, a table, seat six, sleep six. Uh, we've got a book, book cabinet with lots of great books in it, and glasses if you fancy an evening tipple. Uh, and then in the corner, these are all different games. So games, board games for young and old, families, individuals, couples, um, chess set, dartboard, Malaysian game of Karong, which is a very famous sort of old school game people play in the villages. And then in the box here, this is tons of balls, rackets, nets. So you can take these out and play on the garden outside. It's great, great fun. Up the way here, this is our um, Accommodation area, this is where the beds are, the roof, um, nice solid wooden staircase, and that leads you up onto the landing. Um, the landing is great for sunset drinks, it's raining outside, otherwise outside is great because the sunset is just here. Uh, and then we've got a workspace for people who want to write the novel, or have got some work to do, need some catching up to do, or homework or whatever. That's there. And then in here is bedroom number one. So um, bedroom number one, we just had a friend come and stay. Uh, four poster bed, uh, lights and everything. And it's got a fan, but these things are also very good. These are uh, cooling fans. You get a block of ice from the freezer, one of them cool pack things, stick it in, switch it on. It's very cold very quickly. And it's a great room to sleep in. You can look out the window and see the birds in the morning. Uh, in the back here, this is, another, this is the bedroom number two. So this is for aunts and uncles, uh, grandparents or whoever. Uh, this is quite nice. Again, with one of those water cooling fans. And then this is bedroom number three. This is maybe for the younger element of the family. It's got bunk beds here, um, which is all good. A little workspace for any homework needed. Uh, yeah, and it's quite a nice, small but jolly room. And then out of the way here, well, out of the way here, I'll tell you a bit more about the way you are and what's going on. So, from here, the tip of Borneo beaches, which are the best beaches in the area, they're about 10, 15 minute drive that way. Kudat, and then same as Tampa to Aman with our beach restaurant and all our accommodation and everything and wildlife reserve, which you are more than welcome to get into. Uh, Kudat is about another 15 minutes that way. Fantastic markets, great for seafood, uh, great for souvenir buying as well, but uh, fantastic fresh markets, which you can pick up the gear, come back here and cook up in the, free, in the fridge there. Nothing better than buying a kilo of prawns and eating them straight away. Uh, talking about catering though, we can also do catering if you came to here and you wanted us to cater for you, no problems. It's also a good place to cater for bigger events. Uh, so if you had a small wedding or you wanted a, a corporate uh, family day or something and you just wanted to come and relax and take it in, take it easy, this would be a good place for you to come. 
We do hope you come. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely place. One of the best coastlines in Malaysia to explore, and you're right in the heart of it all. And we'd love to see you. Stay healthy and well. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.